Welcome everyone to episode 8 of Imperial Galactic Survival Season 2 uh, 10.6 Alpha Experimental Let's see, we still got this stuff churning away uh, What I thought I'd do today is um, we're still learning the ins and outs of the CPU system and I want to see what it's going to take to upgrade the truckster to our second level like we did in um, the last series the um, POI buster level so it's going to need uh, Pentaxa tank shield generator um, and upgraded thrusters rocket launchers and uh, you know probably have to upgrade uh, add a fuel tank and a generator or maybe two generators so let's see what this is going to take uh, I have enough junk in store more coming from the uh, deconstructor so let's create our um, whole shield, pentaxid tank, uh, another fuel tank, another generator. Going to need some more M thrusters. We'll see if we have enough stuff to to build this. Really, I'll be putting this on and then seeing what our levels like, which will tell me how much CPU extender I'll need. So let's get this stuff building. While this is going, I can put some of this stuff into the constructor. Let's see how we're doing. We're using a lot of energy here. Got a full, full fuel tank. <laughs> full fuel tank. Let's see that three times fast. Uh, let's get this into a better position for working on it. If we look at our stats here. We're pretty well under six thousand for the. Uh, Tier one, uh, but we're going to go whole hog on this. Uh, let me add let's see, I wanted to make rocket launchers, homing rocket launchers, two of them. Some of this stuff I'll be taking off, you know, putting on and taking off. I just need to get an idea of um, what level of CPU extension we're going to need. So let's prep this. The rocket launchers are going to go there. And we are hooked up.
Rocket launchers. They don't really need two thrusters yet. They don't really impact the CPU that much. Uh, polarized hole shield. That'll be the impact, big impact. Alrighty. This will go on the back. Like so. I wonder, does this have uh, a different looking side to it? I'll do that. Um, we need... Fuel tank. Generator. Pentaxic tank. Let's put the other rocket launchers. All right, with this mess on here, let's see what it's going to take. So we're at 23. And uh, that means we're going to have to go to tier 3. 40,000, which means we need two of the T3 um, CPU extenders. Let's see what we need to make those. We need the. We have stuff we need to make the regular. These things. All it takes are a couple cores and a couple flex coils. Uh, but for this T3, we need a small optronic bridge. Uh, that's one of the items you can only buy at uh, Polaris training posts uh, and who knows how much they cost uh, um, but it, that's one of the other uh, sort of hidden changes that I, and I think it's something they had in mind with adding to CPU is the uh, these things can all be bought and that means gold once again has a value before the gold didn't really have that much value. Um, but now you do need gold. You need your credits to um, <coughs> buy these things. So, and I'm going to need uh, four of those optonic bridges because I have to make two of these tier three. CPU extenders. So, let's see how we're doing in the money department. I don't have any money. It's because I didn't, uh, I don't think I made it my, uh, ATM yet. <laughs> All right, so let's make an ATM. And I have some gold. Let's turn that into gold coins. This, of course, 
won't be nearly enough. Uh, the quickest way to get more gold is to... I got all this stuff that can be sold. Uh, I got lots of these heavy armors. If I find somebody to buy those, those are worth a lot. And so. That is what we will have to do. But the other problem is... I'm still neutral with Polaris. So I cannot trade with them until I am friendly. So I'm going to have to get friendly with the Polaris quickly. That means doing a couple of their easier missions. Which will also earn us some credits. Put this here and make a deposit. Mm, that's probably not going to be anywhere near enough for what we're going to need. So that means we're going to have to be doing some running around here. Let's uh, take this stuff off. I'll just leave those holes there. I'm going to have to do some running around. fuel tank. Uh, let's eat some food before we go. Look at our Polaris missions. Uh, this is a well. Let's go to this one first. This is simple. Um, just scout out ore deposits, and we'll do that. See on the right hand side of the screen, you gotta find three deposits. Luckily, even I have gone pretty much everywhere, which means I probably discovered most of them already. But uh, this thing will allow you to fly over deposits that you've already discovered. Although I think it's, uh, they have to be unmined. No, they don't. Let's see, I got deposit one checked. Deposit two checked. Let's go fly over that Prometheum deposit. is done. There'll be a little time has to elapse before I can do that mission again. But let's take a look at where we're at. See, we only need 500 more points to get to uh, friendly. And uh, we've also got 500 credits. Oh 
Okay, we're going to do privacy matters. It's just means shooting down some drones in the Polaris territory. I'll activate that mission. And go to the nearest Polaris territory up north. Head to the northwest. Last time I did this mission in another playthrough, the uh, the drones never appeared on their own. I had to sort of force them to appear. There's a trading station. We'll visit that with our stuff to sell. And I see no drones on the map. There is another Polaris on the other side. So let's take a quick trip across the... ...pole. And see if there's any drones over there bothering the Polaris. Like I said, this mission... Previous playthroughs. Uh, has always had troubles with spawning. The drones. Fly around here. Nope, still no drones. over to the other side. Hello, drones. Any drones here? No, no drones. Okay, I'm going to have to trigger them. Click on this. Now. Where are they? There they come, right behind me. friendly. We have a thousand credits. Let's go see who we have buying stuff down here so we know what to bring with us from our our home to sell. This guy buys multi boosts. And T2 projectile pistols. That guy buys. F sells food.
This guy buys all sorts of tier one items for money. Good. And he sells the optonic bridges. But he's only got. Oh, he's got nine. I can't remember which one it is. If I can buy three for him, or can I buy nine? I don't remember. But they're quite expensive. Well, I only have 11,000. So. Well, we'll see how much money we get selling our stuff. Let's go home and boot up. If I can only get three of them here, I may have to go up to the, the one in orbit if I can find it. And that's always a big pain in the butt, finding the one in orbit. Although, if I recall, doing the totally overpowered mission flags the one in orbit. So yes, that's what I'll do. I'll turn on the to over totally overpowered mission. You can't really do it until you have the warp drive because you have to go to the lava planet. I'll use it just to find the uh, orbital trading post, and then I'll cancel the mission. did put a lot of that stuff into the deconstructor so let's stop that at the moment and let's put this down here deposit that in the bank Go to daylight. All right, we're going to load up our truckster with stuff to sell. Uh, let's see. I was buying multi boosts. He was not buying any of this, so it'll be the one in orbit that may buy that stuff. Oh, you just buy all these tier one weapons. Good. And see, it does multi boosts. I'll take all these multi boosts with me. Any more tier one weapons? 
keep one laser rifle with me. Right, that ought to do it. Let's see what kind of money we can get for this. Turn this back on. Let's continue doing its thing. back out to to the Polaris shop See, this is kind of fun having to do this. Makes it more lively. All right. This is the guy who buys multi boosts. That's right. I have to put them on my person. Good, we're up to fifty five thousand. Most excellent. Why? Well, I think I had a couple of those I should have brought with me here. Yeah. Let's put all of this ready. all he can buy. I'm at 76,000 and the bridges are really yeah they're 82,000 a piece. I'm going to need a lot more money and I think that's where the heavy armor being sold at the space station is going to come in. So let's head back on home. First, let's see if we can find a station. Can we do this mission? Yes, we can. on the right hand side to the orbit and approach a station so this will let us know where the space station is where the uh, Polaris trading station is with us. And stuff we want to sell. Medium armor, medium armor, heavy armor, medium armor.
upgrade with me. More heavy armor. I'm going to keep those weapons with me. Keep one medium. Take that heavy. Don't have much use for heavy armor. Still churning away. Turn that off because I do think there may be someone buying T2 weapons. find the space station. I think I remember that uh, mission. I would not relish just blindly flying around down here trying to find this trading station. At random. See if I can cancel this mission. There. there we go. We'll do that later. When we're warp capable. somebody who can buy our stuff. I always gotta check this guy out. He buys some of the T2 stuff. Also buys a lot of other weapons and some boosts. It's always a good guy to find.
I gotta be careful here. Just remembered. Don't want to sell my stuff. <laughs> that would that would be bad. So let's store this over here temporarily. Here we go. heavy armor. Sweet. And these mobility armor multi. Mobility armor multi. guy will buy this stuff. Heavy armor. Got lots of money now. Okay, we're all filled up here. Sold them everything we could sell. There'll probably be somebody else around here who'll buy some more of that stuff. Let's see what this guy buys. Some more boosts and medium armor. Buys insulation. Four. Some insulation. stuff up here selling us the uh, bridges uh, there it is quantum star so he sells the stuff needed to make CPU extenders. And I need four of these. It was 
all four that he had. It's funny how that works. All right, we got what we need. Uh, this is the guy you talk to, by the way. The totally overpowered mission. He'll send you to the lava planet. But we're not doing that now. Head on home. Get to work. That a Xerox so close to my home base, just across the lake. It's one of the reasons I'm looking to upgrade here to the Poi Buster. I can start kicking them off this planet. And the first place I want to kick them off is that one station near the. Uh, the three titan wreckages. Remove the wreckages from Xerax territory. into the constructor input. Very nice. And so, let's manufacture our two of these. T3 extenders. And while those are manufacturing, let's transfer some stuff from the deconstructor.
15 seedlings, more vegetable, more grain. And I'm gonna need more water. Turn on your jetpack so you don't break your leg. Yeah. It can get kind of boring waiting for this stuff to finish. I think next time I play through I'll set it back to instantaneous. Even though this does make us manage our energy more. Because we do use more energy. We should be able to get four seedlings for the next thing. And leftovers to make food with. Just finishing up the second T3 extender. And our two rocket launchers. Let's see, what else do I want to make while I'm sleeping overnight? Um, I need, probably need some more M thrusters. I got six. Let's make another six of those. Um, I'm going to need a bunch of plastic blocks, maybe a hundred. I'm going to need, uh, oh, I'm going to need Promethean pellets. Now I can either go hunting for Promethean pellets or... I can do an easy thing here, since I am destructing stuff. D3 
deconstructing stuff. I can deconstruct some of that to get Promethean pellets. Lying around. Mm, that's good. All right. Let's make sure our fuel's good for overnight. And I think that's enough work for today. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again tomorrow. <laughs>